Welcome to Zenio Payroll. In this video, we'll see how to create salary components. I hope you have watched the payroll batches video. If you've not, I recommend you watch it. You'll find the video link in the description. Go to settings and click on salary components. This section consists of various allowances and deductions. On the Allowances tab, you'll find a set of predefined standard allowances like HRA, Children's Education Allowance, Special Allowance. Just click on the eye icon to view the allowance details. However, you cannot edit these allowances. If you want to add new allowances, click on the Add button. Enter the allowance mapping, name, and the allowance section of the Income Tax Act this allowance belongs to. Specify whether this allowance is taxable, PF applicable, ESI applicable or LOP dependent. You may add any extra notes. Click save. Now moving on to the deductions. Here are some standard deductions. You can view the details of the deductions. By enabling the deduction, you can add it to all employees who qualify for criteria based on the basic pay as per the rules defined in the company. Click on Add to create a deduction. Enter the deduction name. Deduction code. Choose whether it is a pre-tax or post-tax deduction. The pre-tax deductions are deducted from the employee's pay before income tax is calculated. This does affect the net taxable income of the employee. Choose the type. It can either be a percentage, fixed amount, or you can decide it during the pay run. Click Save. Now we'll see how these allowances and deductions can be added to your employee's salary structure. From the Zenio Payroll homepage, choose Compensation. Select an employee. Click on Edit. This is the salary structure of your employee. Under Allowances, you can add any number of allowances. By default HRA is added based on the basic amount, you can add other allowances based on your company policy. Click on the add new link over here. Choose the allowance you want to add. Specify the amount. And click enter. Click on the allowance to make changes. You'll notice the allowance is added to the list. Similarly, you may add deductions and yearly allowances. When you are done click save. That's all you need to know about adding allowances and deductions to your employees' salaries. Make sure you like, subscribe and get notified so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Let us know if you have any queries. Thank you.